Thank you for taking your time to apply for the Marine Park Foundation Scholarships. In this video, I'm going to walk you step-by-step -step in the application process. The first thing to note is that the application opens February 1st and closes in mid-May. This application is for the next academic year and scholarships are applied to your MaxPay account for the fall and spring semesters. One thing to think about prior to applying is who you will ask for a letter of recommendation. The application can be found at marinepark.edu under Pay for College and Scholarships. Under Available Scholarships, Marine Park Foundation Scholarship, and Apply for Foundation Scholarship. This will take you to NextGen, our Scholarship Manager site. If you are a new student, you will need to create an account. If you are a returning student, you will click the Login Here button. There is a two-step authentication process. If you are having trouble logging in or have an issue with the two-step authentication, you will need to contact NextGen. Once you are logged in, you will come to the My Applications page. This will show you any open applications you may have. It will also show you any applications that you started and did not submit. So for this example, I am going to be using the 2024-25 Marine Park Foundation Scholarship application. On the first page of the application, we ask for basic information, name, address, email, and phone number. We prefer that you use your Marine Park student email. We also ask for date of birth and gender. There are some scholarships that have age and gender preferences, so please answer these questions. On page two, we ask for high school or GED, HSED information and previous college education. Then we ask about your current enrollment at Marine Park. Please select which campus you will attend. There are some scholarships that have a campus preference. On page three, we ask about awards and honors what clubs or volunteer services you are a part of. If you are not involved in any clubs or volunteer, please select other and in the description, you can put not applicable. Next, we ask for employment information. This next portion is one of the most important, so please answer all questions and follow the prompts. If you have questions on this section, please refer to your FAFSA or contact me. Then we ask some additional questions that are scholarship specific. If these questions are not answered, it could exclude you as a candidate from those scholarships. On page four, we ask for you to write a personal statement. This can be a paragraph or longer, up to 600 words. Here, we want you to give us some information about yourself, why you chose the program you did, any academic or career goals you may have, we also want to know of any hardships you may be facing financially that would affect you from being able to attend school. This information helps the award committee members learn more about you as they are reviewing scholarships. Next is on the online letters of recommendation. This is very important. The letters must be submitted online. We cannot accept any other form of recommendation written or by phone. We ask for two letters of recommendation if you want to have more, that is fine. These references could be managers, supervisors, current or former teachers, leadership from any volunteer experience. They should not be friends or family members. Please provide us with that person's name and email. Once your application is submitted, the people listed in this section will receive an email asking them to complete the letter of recommendation. Please make sure you enter their information in correctly. This information must be put in before you submit your application. If you submit your application without this information, the letter request will not be sent. The last page of the application is the certification. Once this is complete, you can submit your application. Scholarship awarding will take place in early June 
An email will be sent out to students if they did or did not receive a scholarship. For any questions on the scholarship application or process, please contact Tiffany in the Foundation office.